decisions, there are several types of rules that can be created, one of which is an expression rule. Expression rules are useful when there is some type of complex calculation that can be constructed using a mathematical formula. And those that are familiar with Excel style formulas find expression rules pretty similar, since mathematical symbols and functions are often used in both. When creating an expression rule, you first start with a basic menu where a name for your expression first is determined. In this example, an expression rule is going to be created to determine if the percent of sales is greater than 70% of the goal. Before writing the expression, let's focus on this list at the bottom of the menu. This can be referenced for basic mathematical abbreviations and can be used in the expression if necessary. So now the expression can be written using a combination of parentheses, braces, variables, numbers, and mathematical symbols. The first thing to remember is that braces should be used around any variables that are going to be changing, and parentheses and brackets need to be used to group operations. So this expression will begin with the parentheses and then braces around the total sales, since total sales is a variable and will be passed in, which means it may change. We will then subtract the cost from the total sales which is also a variable and needs braces around it. That profit is then divided by the total sales and that total will then be multiplied by 100 to make it a percentage. That percent is the percent of sales, but this expression rule wanted to determine if it is greater than 70% of the goal. So the expression isn't quite done. A greater than or equal to sign can be added and 70% of the sales goal can be added by writing it as a decimal of 0.70 and then multiplying by the sales goal. So we now have our expression written out and a step category must be classified so that we know where to find this expression rule. In this case, percent of sales will do. You may have also noticed an Anchor Maps 2 drop down list has appeared, which refers to what the anchor data should be. The item on the left hand side is our anchor data. So in this case, I will select total sales. Once an expression is created, all of these fields can be edited at any time with a click of a button. Expression rules also not only can be used directly as a rule itself, but can also be used as a flow step or in other rule types, such as statement rules, truth tables, or sequential rules. Here a statement rule is created that incorporates an expression rule. And you will notice percent of sales is a verb category that has the expression rule that was just created. Values can then be added as a constant or passed in for the variables in the expression. Overall, expression rules can be used in a variety of ways in decisions to make complex calculations a simple process for an organization.